Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of ratios and rates in the real world and we will do it in 5 minutes or less. Before we get into ratios and rates, we first need to define the two terms. So a ratio is simply a quotient of two numbers. So when we're thinking of quotient, we're thinking of a division problem. So typically your ratio is going to look like this. It might be like maybe 6 to 1, might have 6 colon 1, or maybe you can have it 6 over 1. But it is the quotient of two numbers. Now a rate, on the other hand, is a type of ratio. So it's a ratio of two different measurements. And so typically when we think of a rate, one of the easiest things to think of it would be when we're driving our cars. And when we're going down the highway, we always wonder, what's the speed limit? Well, the speed limit is given to us in MPH. And so when we have 60 MPH, that is a rate because we have a ratio of two different measurements. We have miles per hour. So 60, it's really 60 miles over one hour. So every hour we go 60 miles. That is given to us as a rate of 60 miles an hour. Big difference is rates are typically given to us in just a standard number here, like 60. That is not given to us in a ratio with a single unit of MPH, whereas your ratio is typically given to us like this. It's either written sideways or written vertically, and you see both numbers. In some states, the minimum wage has been raised to $15 an hour. So if that is your rate, how long would it take you to earn $75? Well, our rate is $15 per hour. You see we have two different units here. We have money and then we have hours. So that's what makes it a rate. Now let's set this up. We have $15. Make it look like a ratio. So $15 for one hour. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can make an equivalent fraction here. And the thing when we're solving for this, we need to make sure the like units are across from each other. So the only other piece of information we have here is $75. So since $15 is in our numerator, we're going to make $75 in the numerator. And so this is our missing term right here. And so since that was an hour over here, we're going to make this an hour over here. How many hours does it take? Now we look. How do we get from 15 to 75? Well, since we're doing an equivalent fraction, it's getting larger. We're going to multiply by something. So let's multiply by 5 because 15 times 5 is going to make 75. And so since we multiply by 5, if we multiply by 5 over 5, that is equal to 1, and that is how we make an equivalent fraction. So 1 times our 5 is going to make 5. So it's going to take 5 hours to get $75. Sometimes we'll even see ratios and rates in an input-output table. You see here we have a table showing how many ducks we have in a certain number of boxes. Each box has the same number of ducks. So 4 boxes get you 52 ducks, 7 boxes get you 91, 11 boxes get you 143 ducks. The question is, how many ducks will you have in 17 boxes? Well, really what we're looking for is the rate of ducks per box. Because if we can figure out how many ducks we have in each box, that's going to get us our rule, and we can multiply that by 17. But we can take this rate here, we can write it as a ratio. So let's write that as a ratio. So we're going to write that as ducks per box. And if we take any of these numbers, we can figure that out. So let's say ducks per box. Let's use this first line. 52 ducks for four boxes. Well, that's simply a division problem that we need to finish. So four goes into 52, and that's going to be 13. So it looks like our rate is going to be 13 ducks per box. And so we can multiply that by 17. And we can say 17 times 13, well, that's going to get us 221 ducks in 17 boxes.